I don't exactly have a normal story with regard to who took me fishing. You know, my, my father was uh, not around and a lot of people get in through their fathers or uncles or something like that. Well, my dad wasn't around, so I actually have a number of people throughout the years in my formative years when I was 12, 13, 14 starting bass fishing that, uh, that really took me fishing and these were people that I met uh, either at tackle stores or that kind of stuff and, and that really is my starting point and they took me, a kid who was 12, 13, 14 years old when I didn't have any way to go fishing other than from the bank. I actually have a couple of events that really cemented fishing in my mind and most of them I, I was very young before I even knew about bass fishing. I remember I was on a trip with my grandparents out of Hallover Inlet down on the southeast coast of Florida and we went out on a headboat. Terribly rough weather, awful, and uh, I was maybe seven years old, eight years old, and I was the only person on the whole boat that caught a fish. And I got a lot of attention for that and that was pretty cool. And then later, probably when I was maybe 10 years old, there's the CNO canal system, which runs parallel to the Potomac River above Washington, D.C. There's this one section where there are barges, old time barges that are still uh, used for tourists and stuff. And I remember a time when that barge was coming by and I hooked into a catfish. And it was maybe a two or three pound catfish, but at the time it seemed like the biggest fish in the world to me. And I remember all the cheering and screams that came from the boat and uh, that kind of attention was something that was really terrific. And over time those kind of events happened that you notice maybe you kind of have a knack for something and that fosters more of an interest in it. I started guiding actually on the Potomac River in high school. As a junior, I ended up buying a boat and started guiding, taking my friend's parents out and then their business associates and it grew from there. And I did trips, probably 100, 125 per year. I did that and tournament fished, qualified for some pretty important tournaments back uh, in the early 90s, tried to become what was then the BP Top 100, uh, which is now the Elite Series, the Bassmaster Elite Series. And I failed at that and kind of frankly blew out of the sport in my late 20s. And so from 98 through about 2002, I worked uh, doing trading uh, for a big Wall Street firm. And then after that, I decided to go to law school. Went to law school and started uh, working at a law firm after that and wanted to get back into tournament bass fishing. I had fished all throughout, but tournament bass, bass fishing I had taken off about 10 or 12 years. And so I started my climb back to, uh, back to trying to get to the top, which is the Bassmaster Elite Series. And it took me a long time and several near misses with the Bassmaster Opens. And the whole while I'm working as an attorney and I'm fishing the Opens and now I'm fishing the Elites as an attorney. I have clients calling me while I'm out on the water today. Um, it, it's a little bit of a complicated life, but I am not alone in that. If you look at other people like John Cruz, they have so many demands on them, it's unfathomable, more than me. So, uh, but you can have a unique career and fish if you are lucky and can make it work with your family and the rest of your life. I have a terrific wife and kids and a mother who's been there forever. And uh, they really have supported me throughout, but I have had support from great sponsors like Bass Cat and Mercury and Shimano. And uh, so I've had a lot of support through that, but my fr the friends that you meet in the, the other tournament anglers that you meet, they really become a lot of your support. Maybe not necessarily like family uh, as far as taking care of the kids while I'm away like my wife does as she is working a job. It's great having people that you meet out here and they're the ones who really are your day-to-day -day support when you're out fishing.